incredible. I saw him spinning to avoid any contact with it. Upside down tower in the middle of one and two. Red light on. Darren Molino in the 77 just caught the wall. And J Mac gets upside down trying to avoid it as he was spinning to the infield out of turn two. What a barn burner of a first 10 laps. Now has that car landed flush on the side? Is the top wing not too badly damaged? The one car might get going again. Let's hope that Molly is okay. I think they're going to be able to bash that wing straight on the inside panel. Darren Molino climbing out of the car, folks. Got a huge round of applause for this one, good boy. Has done an awesome job this weekend. Man, not very often you see someone roll over 20 metres inside the kerb. Lucas Oil's replay about to come up on the screen. Ambulance officials asking Molly if he's okay. Just caught the end of it. Been so fast all weekend. Excellent qualifying result in the main to start. So high up the order. There was James just going at the end of it. So... Molly just looking over the James McFadden car to check he's okay, check there's nothing that's wrong with the car. How's that, eh? Molly gets out of his wet car, walks over to James to check that his car's alright. Darren, that sucks. You were fast all weekend, mate. Yeah, I guess that last thing, I know not having something just broke and went straight in. Guess we missed something and uh, crashed beforehand and I... Uh, real disappointed for the team and all the guys behind it all, but... You know, we had car speed, we just didn't have any luck and... It's a shame it ended up like that, but I actually bent the chassis in that last crash and we spent the whole time preparing that, getting the rear end square and that, and we didn't have too much time to set the car up and we're actually probably a bit free anyway to do any good, so it's just a shame it ended that way. Yeah, you've done a great job to put two cars on the racetrack too, that's really not complicated things, but it's made it more intensive, hasn't it? Yeah, it's definitely made it a little, uh, slightly more stressful, I guess you call it, but um, it's been good fun and it's good having Danny out here, we've had a lot of fun times, so... Um, yeah, what more can you say? Well, people can come down and buy some t-shirts off you is what they should do. Yeah, well, we need to sell out of t-shirts to pay for a minimum amount of that. Well, I hope people come down and see it. Darren Molino, folks, big round of applause for this little guy. Stands on the gas. This top wing is ugly. The McFadden number one. You see the damage here on this tiny work wear car. James has done some remarkable things in his career so far, but rolling over on the infield, there's a new one for him. James McFadden just asking the question, the officials on the race team are just coming through that James will have to start from the rear of the field. And he's saying, why is that? I guess it depends on your interpretation of the red light rule. Did he stop after the red lights came on? Yeah, he'd be the first to ask that question. Molly just came over and said, do you want me to straighten that sideboard? James just, just shrugged the shoulder and said, no, it'll be right. Well, he's driven with a crippled race car before for the rear at Murray Bridge. Absolutely. But the interpretation for, you, for those folks that are new to our sport is when the red lights come on, everybody has to stop. So when there's a red light situation, it only happens when there's a rollover or a fire. Officials throw the red light on and you must come to a complete stop. James is probably arguing the technicality here that he stopped after the red lights came on for Darren Molino. The fact that he rolled over on the infield after the red, James is probably arguing, I should be able to restart in my position. Officials are saying, you've got to go to the back of the bus. So it's a point of contention as to what will happen with the Australia one. Interesting times ahead. SRA officials in discussion over this. Still rolling away. How good Stephen Lyons right now? Where's all the Lionsy fans in the house tonight? Looking to back up with his second classic win. Not back to back, but his second classic win. And <laughs> he's an animal, isn't he? From third to first, down that main straight into turn number one. Some of the best racing we've seen all weekend between three of the very best. Boy, McCall's racy, isn't he? I know he's regarded as one of the veterans. 
Williams over there now is approaching 50. Just wrapped up his seventh doctoral raceway track championship, but he is racing. He's a class act. He's a VR machine, isn't he? Oh yeah. Just rolls through it so fluently. I couldn't help but think when Katie was off, like he was at the start. Yeah, sure. Too good, too early. That's what I was worried about, but he seems to have settled right down now. They've got him in.